Good morning to everybody. Uh, today I am going to demonstrate the lumbar puncture set, uh, how we are going to take care of the instruments in the ward as well as in CSST. The first session, this is uh, in ward, how we are going to follow the techniques. Uh, this is a sterile pack. This is child LP puncture set. This sterile pack consists of a steel cup 1, a sponge holding forceps 1, LP needle 1, sterile bottles with cork 3, 5 cc syringe with needle 1, LP towel 1, hand towel 1, a pair of glove 1, mask 1, this is the packing cover and also the date of sterilization they will enter with that we have to see the date. It should not exceed 15 days, we have to see the date and time also. This is the sterile pack. We know that the lumbar puncture set, it is using use, used for lumbar puncture. Uh, lumbar puncture is one of the most important procedure in, in our setup like a neurosurgical and neurological uh, setup. So it is for diagnostic purpose as well as for to drain the excessive CSF and also uh, to reduce the cerebral pressure. During the procedure, we, we have to as in us, we have to assist to the surgeon to help to, to helping for the procedure. This is the sterile pack. We have to scrub, then wear glove, then once after that, we have to open the sterile pack for the procedure. This is the sterile pack, the first layer. This is one glove for the surgeon. We have to open like this. It's a towel. The towel, it is for wiping the hands. It's a pair of glove to the surgeon. Then we have to open the next layer. In this, it's a whole towel to cover that area where exactly the surgeon is going to do the procedure. There he is putting the whole towel. Then after opening the pack, as in as what is our responsibility, before giving the instruments, we have to check the instruments, whether the instruments are co correct or not. It's a sponge holding forceps. It is in good condition. A steel cup with uh, three or cotton balls. Three bottles with cork. For the purpose of this bottle is to collect collection for collection of CSF uh, to send to the laboratory for the but diagnostic purpose. These two, these two bottles, it goes to microbiology department and one bottle goes to clinical lab. Then a Grinch, one LP needle, preferably 20 and 21. It's a steel kidney tray. And then everything it is in good condition. Once after the procedure is got over, then what is our responsibility in ward? How we have to repack the instruments and send to CSST? Because in our ward setup, we are not doing any sterilization in the wards. All whatever the packs we are using in wards, we have to send a CSST for autoclave. Then whatever the waste is there, according to our um, uh, hospital policy, we have to dispose everything. Then later, we have to check and send the instruments to the CSST contaminated instruments to be soaked in hypochlorite solution this is one is to six the remaining the suppose if the linen also it is contaminated this linen also we have to soak in the solution we have to soak in hypochlorite solution then wash it the wet linen the wet article should not repack and send to CSST only we have to dry once after drying only we have to repack the instruments then and also LP needle we have to check whether it is any blockage is there or not Now there is no blockage. We have to dry it nicely. Then the these instruments to be if it is much blood stained, then we have to scrub the instruments with this type of brush. Under running water, we have to wash it. Nicely, we have to dry it. Then, we have to rearrange the articles. We have to separate the barrel, the barrel and piston. This old towel, once after washing, we have to dry and set. The wet linen should not send to CSST, old towel, then we have to 
one layer we have to close on that layer whatever the one pair of glove glove pack the glove is not there only the glove pack the towel then we have to pack it mask we have to tie it tie it without forgetting we have to put the label back and send to CSST. This is unsterile pack. Now I am going to demonstrate in CSST how we are going to take care of the things. The staff in CSST, they will first check, they will open the first, they will see the book whether entering is there or not. Then after once checking, they will open the pack. They will keep the label separate, mask, then whatever the linen is there, this linen they will soak in hypochlorite solution that is 1 is to 6 for 30 minutes. Then whatever the instruments is there, this instruments it, it is the hypochlorite solution, hydrogen peroxide and soap solution. First we have to dip the instruments in hypochlorite solution for 10 minutes. Then later we have to take the instruments and put it in hydrogen peroxide for 10 minutes. Then later in soap solution for 10 minutes. Then later all the instruments should wash under running water, cold water followed by hot water. This is running water, it is a hot water. Then keep it for drying. Then wipe the instruments. Then once after the articles is ready, then we have to the packing of the instruments. First we have to keep the kidney tray in the middle. Then kidney tray to be protect with some gauze pieces. Then steel cup in that we have to put 3-4 cotton balls. Then healthy needle, 1 syringe, sponge holding forceps. 3 bottle, we have to remove the cap and keep. Then this is the whole towel. First layer, we have to cover a pair of glove, one hand towel. mask, then we have to put the last layer. Then without forgetting we have to put label, later once before putting into the autoclave without forgetting we have to put the autoclave label. Then we have to keep all the packs in autoclave. Autoclave that is under steam sterilization, the temperature is 121 degrees Celsius, then pressure is 20 pounds and the time is 30 minutes. Once after the sterilization is got over, switch off the autoclave, then take all the instruments, all the packs from the autoclave with the sterile hands only, then we have to keep it in a dry area till the distribution. Once after sterilization is got over, this detrans litmus paper turns to pale blue color or pale black color.
Till now, we have seen uh, how the things to be taken care in the ward as well as in CSST. Let us see what are the uh, points to be remembered. That is, the lumbar puncture set is a pack which contains the various instruments used for lumbar puncture. The articles it consists of stainless steel cup, steel, steel kidney tray, sponge holding forceps, 5 cc syringe with needle, LP needle, preferably 20 and 21 each, sterile bottles with cork 3, LP towel, hand towel, glove pair, mask and packing cover. Uh, this procedure it is in uh, ward uh, how we are going to take it. That is the first thing that is the check and count the articles after opening the sterile pack for use. Uh, look for any damage of the articles. Be careful while handling the sharp instruments. After the procedure dispose the sharp instruments and other waste product according to the hospital policy. Separate the barrel and piston of glass syringes and wash under running water. If it is still soiled with blood then wash it under wash it with uh, sodium hypochlorite solution that is 1 is to 6. Uh, the next step separate uh, wash all the articles under running water and flush out the hollow articles if it is required. Infected sets should be soaked in hypochlorite solution. It is also for 1 is to 6 for 30 minutes and then wash under running water. Do not send any wet linen along with the set. Uh, check for all the articles with the list and pack them in the same wrapper, tie it and send to CSST after entering into our book. This is what we are following in the ward. Next we will see in the CSST, separate all the instruments, linen, needles, syringes, etc. Soak the contaminated and infected linen separately for 30 to 60 minutes. Soak all the articles in a mixture of hypochlorite, oxidize, its hypochlorite is a oxidizing and bleaching agent, hydrogen peroxide, it is a mild antiseptic, germicide and cleansing agent, soap solution the cleansing agent and stain remover for 30 to 60 minutes. Remove all the articles from the solution, brush it nicely and wash it in cold water followed by hot water and allow it to dry. And then take a kidney tray, protect its bottom with gauze and arrange all the instruments, bottles, syringes, LP towel, etc. Take a wrapper, put the kidney tray in the middle, cover it with one side of the wrapper and place a pair of glove on it. A wrapping lab keep a mask and a hand towel over the first layer of the wrapper and complete the wrapping, label it and put the indicator. Keep the pack inside the autoclave and sterilize its steam under pressure. Temperature is 121 degree centigrade, pressure 20 pounds and time is 30 minutes. Once the cycle is over, switch off the machine. Remove the pack from the autoclave by using sterile gloves for aeration, store the pack in the sterile room till distribution. Thank you, Thank you so much. Till now we have studied all this according to the, ste according to the steps. Uh, then after the procedure, dear students, do not forget uh, whatever the instruments we have used, uh, everything it should be replaced for next use.